Hey there, welcome to the video. I'm Scott Welsh and we get together every week to talk about trading systems and how to beat the market and usually by robots. But we've got an issue this week that I'm excited to talk to you about because for me it's like buying a car. You see a car, you love it, especially when you're younger, right? The first car, you see a car and I, I want that car and you look at the price like, hmm, maybe I can afford that. And then there's all these other problems that come with it, like buying gas, buying insurance, replacing the tires, tune-ups, like all these things you didn't think about. And it's just such a drag because you see the car and you see yourself driving in it. And yet there's other problems that are kind of lurking beneath the surface. Well, that's this week. We're going to talk a lot about robots we have in the past, obviously, and we're going to talk a lot more, especially now that I have these auto sizing versions where we look at compounding. Compounding is amazing, and it's going to be it's going to allow me to throw out some amazing numbers. And it's easy to get excited. I get excited. But there are problems to doing this sort of thing, and we needed to take a week out and talk about it. So, here we go. Next slide, please. Thank you. That person just got fired. All right, three things today. There are mechanical problems to trading robots. There are psychological problems to trading robot robots. And there are prosperity problems. It's a lot of Ps. That's kind of annoying. There are problems, and we're going to get right to it. Now, we'll talk a lot about numbers today, a little bit. But remember, these are all hypothetical. I try to do my best to give you real numbers, but these are hypothetical. We're trying to make them happen in real life. We're trying darn hard. Keep that in mind and don't risk money you can't afford to lose. Okay, here are the mechanical problems with the robot. I mean, going all the way back to the beginning. Now, keep in mind that the trend in trading is robot trading. That is the trend. We're talking about robots. For me, it's software you put on your computer and it does it all for you. You literally do nothing. That's what I trade. No human intervention whatsoever. But there are robots that allow you to get into a trade so you don't have to stare at the screen all day. And then a human comes in and says, OK, I want to add a position. I want to take this out, whatever. Kind of robot assisted trading. But there are ro robo advisors everywhere in the biggest trading firms, Charles Schwab, TD Ameritrade. Those robo advisors aren't exactly what I'm talking about, but these are automated AI, if you will, well, your asset allocation needs to be adjusted or you know, next month we need to sell some stocks and buy some gold bullion. Everything is moving towards automated trading and it should, not necessarily having an algorithm pick and choose the market. It's not really what robot trading is. It's systematic, disciplined trading or asset allocating that's done for you so we as humans don't screw it up. I feel like humans are getting worse and worse at being able to handle emotions and being able to stay focused. Robot trading is going to help us. There's your background. Okay. Now, why am I talking about it in the first place? Well, someone emailed me about a week, a week or so ago, asked me to talk about it, and I've been wanting to talk about it anyway. So here we are. That's what we're talking about. And the first one is mechanical. Let's say you're into robot trading. Let's say you're specifically into the, into the type of robot trading I'm talking about where the robot does everything. And robot, again, it's just software. <laughs> it's just software. All right. Great. You love it. You love the numbers. You're intrigued. How are you going to trade it? I mean, again, it's buying that car, and now it's, uh, how are you going to even adjust the seats to drive? Not a great analogy, but you know what I'm saying. How are you going to trade it? You want to do it. You email me. You email someone else. What do you do? Well, you can. Take the software and just put it on your desktop computer that you have in the other room. Right? You don't need a whole lot to get started. Just put it on your computer and leave your computer on all day. Turn off your sleep functions. Turn off your updates. Do all that manually. Just a nice, bland computer that does nothing, and you could run it today, tomorrow. Okay. That's all well and good. But here are the problems with that. What if the power goes out? This is software. Software has rules. Buy here, sell here. If in the middle of this trade, the power goes out, then the software cannot communicate with your platform and the trade cannot be taken out. So now you've got a trade that will not be taken out by the software, will not be taken out by the code. It's just drifting out there. It could 
be a huge winner for you. Yay, right? It goes in your direction. You would have gotten out, but while you were dark, you made a ton of money. Or, of course, the opposite could be true. It could go against you, but through the stop loss that doesn't exist because you don't have power, and it goes and goes and goes, and you could lose everything or a lot. Okay? That is a problem with robot trading. The power must be on from the beginning of the trade to the end of the trade if you want to be safe. Now, different ways to trade robots. If you're interested in Forex, which a lot of people who email me do, over 60, 70% of the people I talk to or who watch videos or who go to the newsletter and read it, about 70% of people are Forex traders. So if you are, MT4 is free. And it's super stable. But nothing is stable if the internet goes down, if you don't have a connection. You see what I'm saying? MT4 is the most stable thing I've ever personally used. But nothing works if the power goes out. And what do you do if you're on vacation? What if you do if you're trading long-term charts? You're in the middle of a trade. Are you trapped then for possibly weeks if you're a long-term trend follower? You want to go on vacation. You want to go away for the weekend. Nope. You got to stay home and make sure your computer is connected. That's a problem. No vacations, no getting away. If you trade a lot, what do you do? You're a little bit chained to your computer, assuming you're just trading it on the desktop. You could get something like go to my PC, and then you could watch it from another computer at your resort or wherever you are, but then you're talking a money outlay, right? You could just put it on your computer for free, but if you don't want that option. If you want something a little safer, a little bit more accessible from various locales, then you're going to have to pay something. Okay. My background. When I got into robot trading 2012, when I said, this is awesome. The trades get taken. I don't have to be at the computer. I started on TradeStation. TradeStation is probably the best automated trading platform in the world. It's got the most indicators, the easiest code, easy language is pretty easy. I, I kind of learned it, at least to a very basic degree. Not a problem, very stable, a lot of options. You can do a lot of things on it. TradeStation is great, but I traded it for years, plural, and it went out all the time, right? Thunderstorm, hmm, internet, Wi-Fi goes down, whatever, and I'm in the middle of a trade. What do you do then? Does it happen? Oh, well, why don't I just use... A virtual server. Don't ask me that. We're talking about that in a second. Jeez, interrupting. If the power goes out in the middle of a trade, that is really not fun. You need to have the trade desk wherever you trade, whatever platform you're using, you to be able to talk to a live person. You need to have that on speed dial. Get out immediately, right? Nowadays, though, a lot of these platforms have apps. You can put it on your phone. You can log in on your phone and check to see where the trade is at and then get out or do whatever you need to do manually. You need one or the other if you're going to trade on a desktop. That is, nah, that's mandatory. You can't really live. You can't just say, oh, I hope the power stays on. After TradeStation though, even though I loved every part of it except for the power going out, TradeStation stopped trading Forex, so I had to move to MT4. That was stressful, but I'm glad it happened. Got to learn the MT4 platform, and it's, like I said, it's super stable. Setting up, though, MT4, if you're brand new to robot trading, not easy. MT4 is not intuitive or easy, not at all. I've done videos uh, in a $5 course that I have and have sold in the past that teach you how to do it. Probably tutorials on um, YouTube, on the YouTubes to do it. It's not intuitive, though. You need someone to help you or you need a couple videos to learn how to download the software Get it into the proper folder on MT4, drag it onto your chart, learn how to turn the robot on. There's a lot to it at first. Once you do it, it's fine. And once it's on there, it's super stable. You now you're pretty much set for life. You can just get through the learning curve. Very frustrating, but also very rewarding. There's also multi charts, and I have traded live on multi charts also. That is a trade station um, facsimile, it's almost exactly the same. Um, it goes down too, though. Traded on a desktop, traded it and it went down in the middle of trades. And it's not easy to get out of the trade manually. It's not much fun. So trade, whether it's trade station or multi charts, advantage of multi charts is you can trade forex. Okay, that's why I even bring it up. 
they're both a little bit dangerous to use on desktop. Not dangerous, but it's a little bit of a hassle, okay? Well, what if you don't want to trade it on a desktop? What do you do then? Well, then you need to use a VPS, a virtual private server. Is that what it stands for? It's a virtual server. Okay, you're excited about robots, but you're worried about the connection. Maybe your internet is bad, or maybe you want to be able to access it, right? Get a virtual server. What's that? It's just server space rented out by a company that allows you on any computer in the world to type in your credentials and you can see your computer screen. You can see all your trades. It never goes down. It's on 24 hours a day and it's great. Okay. It solves the problem. Well, what? there's another problem. Which one do you use? Well, there's a lot out there. Here's what I'm going to say, though. You can do your research. You can probably do better than anything I say. But do not use Amazon. Amazon's got whatever they call it. AW, I don't know what it is. Um, I had, I've never used it, but I've had people go on, and it's not even close to working. Trades are supposed to be taken, and they're not taken. They're taken in the wrong time zone for no reason, even though the code specifically disallows that. Uh, I've seen things happen that are um, pretty much impossible. And they all happened on Amazon. So I don't know if they got it worked out. I'm just telling you what I know. I use BeeksFX, BeeksFX.com. I mean, it's solid. I've never had a problem. Customer service is great. So there you go. I don't get paid to say that. Um, could you use TradeStation or another platform on Beeks? That's something you'd have to talk to them about. They are nervous about TradeStation or multi-charts when they've talked to me because it takes up a lot of memory. You would have to maybe upgrade and then it'd have to be a maybe. I have not done it yet. I don't want to upgrade my memory because I'm all set up, but it's possible. It's possible they could run another platform on there. Okay. All right. We're work, working through the problems. Mechanical problems are so boring. And yet, what do we do if we can't solve these problems? There is no trading unless we can solve these idiotic mechanical problems. <sighs> so boring, but absolutely essential. Okay. Once we're all set up, though, there's a whole other set of problems. If you're a discretionary trader and have been your whole life, but you want to get off the screen and get on with your life, please do not underestimate how hard it is to turn into a robot trader. It is so hard. I was a discretionary trader and to say, I'm going to make a decision and I don't like the way that trade looks and I'm going to get out early. All of those things that we just do and have experience doing, that's all gone. You take a robot trade, and you don't actually take a robot trade. You don't do anything. You walk in there, oh, I'm in a trade? That can be jarring. It can be jarring to have trades taken without your permission, even though, of course, you set up the system and you understand it. It's very difficult. Furthermore, once it's in, if you're a discretionary trader, you will want to mess with it all the time. You'll want to turn it off. You lose a couple in a row, mm, that robot's not working, done. You'll want to modify it. Uh, it's gotten half my target. I'm going to take it out. Or, oh, this is a loser. It's never going to come back. I'm going to take it out. All the things that we do. Guess what? Do any of those, one of those on a regular basis, the robot will not work. Do it once, eh, probably not going to make a big difference in the long, long term. A couple times, and eh, not a big deal. Do it all the time, like every other trade or constantly. That's a problem. You turn it off constantly. When you go through a losing streak, that's a problem. And your robot will be profitable on paper and it will not even be close. This is a real obstacle. We need to be ready. You need to be ready to turn off or turn over the reins to the robot, to the software. Taking a loss when you haven't pushed the buttons is scary, hollow, empty, mortifying. Any of those, all of those. Ever heard of the fear of flying? I was once scared of flying for a while, right? Didn't want to go on vacation because I didn't want to fly in a plane. Why are people afraid of flying? And it's real. It was real for me. I'm fine now, but it was real. It's giving up control. You're sitting in a plane. There's nothing you can do. Sure, it's the safest way to travel, but there's nothing I can do. And it made me so nervous for a while. Guess what? Robot trading is the same. You have no control and it is a real issue. 
need to be ready to be over that now if you're going to use a robot. But let's go. We've gotten through those. Let's just say I'm ready. Listen, I don't want to be a discretionary trader. I figured out all the mechanical problems as annoying as they are. I'm ready. And you turn your robot on. And yes, of course, there's a psych psychological problem of losing. But we're not talking about that. That one is actually, I think, easier to handle than prosperity. Let's say you get all past that and the robot starts doing well. You're fine with control, you're fine with everything, and it starts winning and winning and winning, loss, but winning, winning, winning. Your account is rising, especially if you're compounding or auto sizing, and wow, how great is it to come to your computer? You check in at the end of the day, oh, I won again, and it's going and it's going and it's going. Sounds like not a problem at all. That sounds pretty fantastic, and it is. But here's maybe the biggest obstacle of them all. When you've done well and then you lose after you've climbed the mountain. It was exhilarating getting up the mountain and then it starts losing. You will not believe. It's happened to me. You will not believe how scared you get after you have a bunch of wins in the bank. Am I going to lose it all? Is it over? Was I just lucky? What? I, I can't lose all that. Look how much I was up. It is a real test to your humanhood. And here's a visual example. Right? Let's say we turned on a robot. And the reason I picked this particular curve is I was trading a robot. This was 2014-ish, 2014 to 2015. We'll talk about that particular period again probably very soon. But I was trading it. Uh, I thought I was ready. <laughs> I just thought I was ready. And this is not not my live trades, but I was trading live and something very similar happened to me in real life. Made a little money and a drop down. Nah, that's fine. Then we went on a rise and a drop down. I was like, Ugh. but then do, 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 look at that stretch. Do you know how great that was? This is a hypothetical $10,000 account. We're getting up near 40%. Took a drop, eh, that wasn't great, right? That might have been panic, but then all the way to here. Now we're up 50%, little pullback. And we make a new high, we're up over 50% in less than one calendar year. Exhilarating. And then this, right at the end, after about 11 months, look at this, down, down. Is that the end? Was all this just a fluke? Now logically you can say oh pull back there pull back there pull back there i should be ready for this no 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 when you have 50 percent or more in the bank and this happens wow it is so hard best thing to do is just to leave it alone and check your vps next month but it is extraordinarily difficult think about it 11 months, you're up, you're up almost 60% at the beginning of April. So you went from May 2014 to May 2015. In April 2015, you're 11 months in, 60%. And then it starts losing. And then you're down about 40% from the peak, right? You have it 40% from up here. So not literally 40%, but it's dropped, okay? It's dropped. Let's go back to it. That's a drop from our new peak high. Look at that. Rah! Okay. What do you do? Do you turn it off? Say, listen, it's great. I'll take whatever I got. It's fine. I'll take whatever I had. Like, where was I at? Right? I'm in that 30% gain. Fine. Oh, I got lucky. I'm going to get out before I lose it all. Right? It was probably a fluke. The robot was probably curve fit. It was faulty back testing and it doesn't work in real life. It, it's broken. I'm just going to take my money. I need to, I need to turn it off and just take my money now. You understand the temptation? And then, of course, if we do that, yes, we've made money. Not the worst problem to have. But then that robot, of course, goes on to make higher, higher highs, and you leave all this money off the table. Prosperity problems are real. You need to be prepared for everything. Bottom line is this. I believe in robot trading. It's what I do with my money. It can absolutely change your life. It can add discipline that you need. The problem with traders is not that they can't 
do it right is that they can stay disciplined and do it consistently right. Robot trading with robot rules can change all of that. It can make it can take your mediocre trading and make it phenomenal among the best in the world. It can give you the performance as a result. You have a system, you just are too emotional. Robot changes that. It can give you the performance that allows you to trade for a living or retire. Robot trading, some of the biggest traders in the world are 100% mechanical. They're everywhere. Don't make no mistake. Don't think something wrong in your brain. There are many people who are advocating 100% robot trading. There are other forms, like I mentioned, but they believe in it. I believe in it too. It can change your life. And it gives you total freedom. You don't have to intervene. All you got to do is make sure the power is on. That's it. There are a lot of ups. That's why I've been doing this for so long. That's why I still study it all the time, every day. But with those ups, there are downs. If you're not prepared for these problems that we've discussed, it can be sabotage. And you can take something that will work and turn it into something that's not working. Okay? Hopefully, I didn't belabor it too long, and hopefully, it's helpful. I'd love for you to be a robot trader. I think it's the best way to trade. It's my favorite way to trade, but you need to be ready. And as long as you're prepared, robot trading is no big deal at all. It's when these surprises hit that's the problem. Okay, latest updates. You can join the newsletter. Go to scottwellstrategies.com. If you'd like to become a member and get all the robots and all the courses, um, just go to my member page, scottwellstrategies.com. Did I say that? ScottWellStrategies.com slash memberships. You can get more information on that. And that's all for this week. Hopefully now we have an eyes wide open view at robot trading and we can get back to start talking about some uh, some numbers and what uh, a robot can do for us. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.